All right, we're going to break it down by the numbers. I like to do this every year because uh, Christmas time is uh, both a time of faith and uh, it gives us an opportunity to look at the science of uh, Santa Claus. According to the numbers, Santa is going to have to travel pretty pretty quickly between households. Let's assume that there's about 108 million Christian households uh, worldwide. And assuming, of course, that Santa is only going to deliver to the Christian households. And let's also give them the benefit of the doubt that these are evenly scattered about a mile or so apart. Um, Santa's going to have a total trip length of about 100 and, well, let's call it 100 million miles. Uh, unfortunately, that means that uh, his average speed is going to be somewhere on the order of, you know, 900 miles a second, uh, or roughly 3,000 times uh, the speed of sound. So if you've got um, that, you know, you don't have a lot of time, let's say, you know, a thousandth of a second, maybe. Uh, not only does Santa have a very short delivery time at each house, he's going to have to travel incredibly fast between each trip, about a thousand kilometers a second, maybe. So if the speed of Santa's sleigh is one problem, then uh, you got the payload also. Suppose each kid only gets, you know, about a half a pound of presents. The sleigh is carrying about 400,000 tons of presents. Uh, the reindeer aren't very good at pulling weight. They're, you know, maybe 100 pounds uh, each. So there's going to be about 360,000 reindeer needed for this trip. That's about 50,000 uh, tons uh, altogether. It's a total mass roughly of a half a million tons. So, <clears throat> if you've got a half a million tons traveling at about a thousand miles a second, you've got enormous wind resistance. The lead pair uh, of reindeer would have to deal with about 15 quintillion joules of energy. You know, come to think of it, that may be why they call them Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, because at that enormous amount of energy, it would probably, well, you know, not probably, it would make the lead reindeer burst instantly into flames, vaporizing the entire uh, uh, reindeer team behind them and the half a million uh, uh, ton sleigh and, and its rider. Uh, it would create a sonic boom that would deafen everyone within 50 miles. In fact, it would probably flatten every tree and uh, building within 50 mile radius. On the other hand, you know, it really wouldn't matter because uh, uh, Santa would be decelerated by the wind resistance at a thousand miles per second to a dead stop within that same thousandth of a second. So Santa would be thrown forward onto a uh, vaporized reindeer with the equivalent weight of some two million kilograms, turning him into a thin red layer of protoplasm that would be utterly destroyed by the expanding shock wave. So there's the science of uh, Santa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho.